Today we're going to Jack's Hideaway, Campot. It's a nice place, Campot. It's a little bit quieter than Peon Pan and Cinefield, but it's got a lot of character of its very own. It, it's set in the most beautiful position on this river, and you can see the influence of the, of the French with the promenades that they built and with the architecture. To get to Jack's Hideaway, We've got to go on a boat ride and we've got to go right up the river, which proves to be a, a lot of fun. Here's our captain getting the boat ready. My brother Dan said that this is an old Chinese motor. Blink hand start. There's my brother Dan, and there's the promenade of the camp. Beautiful, some nice restaurants, a few nice bars, and some beautiful, beautiful old buildings. Here's an old bridge that apparently has bombed down quite a few times in the civil wars that they've had over the years. Nice time to take a photo with the beautiful hills in the background and there's Jack folks there he is he is steering the machine there's a few little restaurants as we go by some some local restaurants and some touristy restaurants for tourists the ambience of the place is really nice with lots of Hotels, weekenders, lots of restaurants on the water, private residences, all sorts. Really, really pretty. What we're doing today is we're going up the river because Jack is interested in buying a plot of land to build his own hideaway. And he's really keen on us going up there. Uh, my brother Dan and myself wants to show us and see what, he, what we think. He's found a little secret hideaway that thinks he could be perfect for a, for a getaway. As we approach it, it's pretty hard to see, but amongst the trees and amongst the reeds is a small canal. And as we go through this canal, it opens up. These canals are quite amazing. You know, a thousand years ago, canals were all across Cambodia, just like the Romans built canals all through Europe and through England. The people of the time, they built canals. And they're saying that's how they built Angkor Wat. There's a pretty low bridge here that I nearly break my head on. There's a couple of low bridges. In fact, one bridge we actually don't get under and we have a bit of an accident. But we just make this one. I think this one I just lost my hat. This canal is definitely man-made and I would say would have been 
It would have been used for moving can for using rice at one time. And here we come to Jack's hideaway. It's an old rice paddy and the ground's quite wet. But it's a, a beautiful plot of land. There's actually two plots. There's, there's one on this side, which is an old rice paddy, and there's another plot of land on the other side of the canal. Here's the track that goes from the from the block, and here's the residence where the next door neighbours, the Jack's next door neighbours. As we continue on through the canal, Jack's neighbours have a beautiful resort and they're quite busy. In fact, I think they were booked out when we went there. As you can see them laying around in their huts at the back, they have quite a big establishment with a restaurant and a bar and all that sort of stuff. Very nice. There's a real natural beauty about the place. Here's that bridge I told you about. Now, I was filming this thinking he was going to stop any minute, and I was thinking he's going to stop any minute. I couldn't, I, I had to put my camera away. That's what happened, bang. We hit the bridge and we just about knocked it over. And here we are coming back. But it's a beautiful part of the world, and it's definitely a place which you'd probably want to go and visit one day. Hope you enjoyed this little clip of Jack's Hideaway. Jack asked me what I thought about it all, and I said to Jack that the people in the resort, a couple of the people said there's a lot of mosquitoes, so Jack might want to think about maybe changing his drink from bourbon and coke to gin and tonics that keeps away malaria. <laughs>